Welcome to another webisode of Insider's Look at Grand Canyon. I'm Ranger Patrick and I am really excited today. My guest today is Cowboy Randy Irwin, poet, yodeler, singer, and residence and artist here at Grand Canyon. Randy, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, Pat. It's, I'm glad to be here. So, Randy, here at Grand Canyon, we have the Artist in Residence program. Different artists like painters and sculptors come here to do a lot of different things. They share their art with the park. They actually, when the program is done, when they're here for three or four weeks, they leave one of their pieces of art with the park. But you're a poet. You're a singer. You're a cowboy. I've seen you do stuff with Lasso and lots of great yodeling. But what are you working on here as Artist in Residence? Well, I'm gathering sounds, uh, ambient sounds, lots of animals, rock falls, water sounds, uh, the sounds. Of, I, I got the sounds of the wings of some condors going by and, and stuff like that. I'm going to mix it in with some vocals and then I'm hoping that I'll have a, 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 a little piece that'll, that'll, that'll please people and, and, and introduce them to the Grand Canyon of, um, audibly. If folks go to your website, uh, cowboyrandy.com, will they in a few months be able to hear some of the stuff you've done at Grand Canyon? Yeah, I'm going to do some previews. I'm going to try to uh, get some stuff mixed together. It'll take me about four or five months to get it all cut together, and then I should have it thrown up on my website, and maybe, and then you guys might link to it, and everybody will be able to see it. Terrific. Now, while you've been here the last few weeks, I got to introduce you at the grade school, and I saw you perform for all the kids. And then just the other night, you did a performance during our evening program segment that usually rangers do for the community here and for all the visitors. Do you do a lot of public performances? Yeah, I do about 125, 130 performances a year, usually at... Um Schools, school assemblies, uh, some libraries, some uh, music festivals, some community centers, and, and things like that. And uh, a lot of times it's for kids, and a lot of times it's, some of the time it's for just general audiences. Would you be willing to sing a song for us here on the show? Sure, I'll, I'll try and pick one and see if, see if you guys can, can enjoy it. So your work here as artist in residence, I mean, you started out doing all these cowboy songs, learning from some of the masters, but now looking into the future, from what I understand, your work is somewhat experimental. Could you tell our visitors here at Grand Canyon what that's like and why you're doing that at Grand Canyon? Well, yeah, the, the stuff I'm going to do is, is going to be experimental, avant-garde. Uh, it's going to be an extension of what I do, a lot of extended vocal techniques, they call it. So you have to, you have to stretch, and uh, this is the perfect place to do it. It's a, it's a gigantic, beautiful, terrible environment, and it's just something you have to, have to absorb, and then you have to synthesize something that's going to... Um, that people are going to be able to grasp and hold on to, and, and I, I have to stretch, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see what everybody thinks of what comes up. Well, Randy, I cannot wait till the spring of 2010 when we can hear some of what you've done here at Grand Canyon. Thanks so much for being on the show, Randy. Thanks a lot, Pat. It was my pleasure. We'll catch you folks next time on Insider's Look at Grand Canyon. We're here on the edge of the canyon, and Randy is going to yodel into the canyon.
Watch out, kids! You know, being a park ranger, standing out here in the rim while you yodel it, I love my job. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it great?